Hey guys, SHOT Show 2019, Chris Nelson with Imcarbo here with Travis from Remington. Really excited to meet him. He's going to show us some of the stuff that he's got new for SHOT Show. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, this is our uh, 700 PCR. It's the uh, precision chassis rifle, and it's built on our new forged aluminum chassis. We built this in-house, designed it. Um, 700 action, three rings of steel, iconic. You know, everybody knows the 700. Right. We're building this in 260 Remington, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 308. Nice. Comes with a uh, Magpul PRS Gen 3 stock, Magpul grip. It's also got a uh, teardrop um, uh, fore end here. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. Medium contour barrel. It is threaded, so nice. you can put your, yeah, put there your. You favorite suppressor on there and we're using 5R technology in the rifling okay so as opposed to conventional six uh, lands and grooves it's only five all right and that you get less bullet deformation um, you get better energy more velocity great. and one of the great things about it is you get uh, less fouling because the lands are cut at more of a radius versus a 90 degree okay so you get more accuracy uh, or maintain your accuracy better between cleanings right yeah fantastic okay what kind of extra performance could they expect with this over what maybe you guys had last year? Yeah, well, that very much the features, and also I'm glad you brought that up because on our computer-aided target system, we test fire each one of these. Okay. It needs to fire, it needs to shoot a, a sub MOA group, okay. and we take that target and it actually ships with the rifle. So, oh, you that's know, cool. proof is in the pudding, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of guys are going to be excited about that. And then the adjustable cheek to stock weld back there, that's yes. nice. Fully adjustable back here. So really there's not a whole lot left other than find a nice muzzle brake that you're excited about. What about that trigger pull? Yes, and the trigger pull, it's it's our Xmark Pro okay. user adjustable, so you can get it down to around three and a half right now. All right, good. Yep. Any lighter than that? Um, not yet, but we're always working on something else. Okay, sounds <laughs> like just... some good room for improvement. I yeah. like it. All right, cool. Fantastic. And then I see, what is that, Magpul? Mag, yeah. you know, so it's all pretty much tricked out. It's pretty much tricked out. You know, yeah. choose your optic. Yeah. Um, and like you said, whatever you want to thread onto the barrel, 5 8 24 standard thread pitch. Beautiful. Um, okay. Ready to go. Let's talk about this yeah. shotgun. That all we got right. Here. Yes. Thank that. you. Thank you. Absolutely. Sir. This is our V3 TAC 13. All right. Brand new. This uses our, our Versa Support gas system, which nice. is self regulating two and three quarter and three inch shells. And it has got eight ports in the okay. chamber so they're all open with two and three quarter with yeah. a three inch it closes down four but what's great about this semi-automatic 13 inch barrel bird's head pistol grip what's around capacity five plus one and it shoots so softly with that gas system okay. it's 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 akin to a 20 gauge pump nice so the first time i shot this with slugs i yeah. couldn't believe it because yeah. you're expecting you're going to shoot that with slugs it's so easy and nice. soft and the recoil, it comes back from recoil really fast. Yeah. It's all that Versa support gas system. This is excellent, especially any kind of breaching or anything like that. I mean, Absolutely, home defense. Yep, perfect. Yeah, it packs a, a lot of horse. rail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this is all really done nicely from the factory. Not much more to do. Aluminum, some kind of steel trigger, good. Mm -hmm. No plastic there. That's right. Fantastic. What is the yeah. uh, price point on these? So right now it's a little over 900 retail, so okay. you'll probably see it around seven something. Okay. Yeah. And then on the other 700 that, that we were is, talking about? That is around a little over a thousand. A little over a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. No, not Especially at all. Especially considering a lot of it's rifle. all tricked out. You're not going to have to spend a lot of extra money getting it the way you want it. You won't have to feel bad about ripping parts off and throwing them away. <laughs> <laughs> well said. I like that. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah. Well, you guys are doing some great stuff here. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate your time, Travis. I appreciate it, Chris. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good SHOT Show. Thank you so much. All right, and we're back. SHOT Show 2019. I'm here with Colin with IWI. Really excited to see what they've got and go through some of their hot items. Colin, what do you got? All right, so right now we're looking at the Tavor 7. That's a uh, IWI Tavor chambered in 762 NATO or 308. It's going to run SR25 pattern magazines. It's got a four-position gas regulator up here on the front, so you got suppressed, unsuppressed, over-gassed uh, or adverse and uh, off. Uh, you can actually turn the gas system off. Awesome. Um, Some great versatility there. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So speaking of versatility, it's going to be completely user-level convertible from left to right-hand configuration. It takes about two minutes. If you're taking your time, you can do it right at your dinner table. It's a piece nice. of cake. We like that. That's a 16 and a half inch barrel, uh, 1 and 12 twist. Um, 
That's about it. MSRP is going to be twenty one ninety nine. Okay. Uh, so and should be out sometime in twenty nineteen. If you have questions, give me a call at customer service. Awesome. So the optics come with it? No, that's uh, you're looking at the Meprolite M five okay. right now. Uh, you can visit our friends at Meprolite at the stand next to us. Uh, but no, it does not come with the optic. Okay. Now Collins, a Marine Corps vet. I'm an Army vet. Um, the interaction was just priceless. It's always <laughs> always typical Army and Marines. It never ends. Um, with your background, your experience, what do you think about this personal level combat or urban combat? I mean, it is bullpup, which is fantastic. It, it is a bullpup, yeah, which uh, I think a lot of folks don't realize. Um, you know, we cut our teeth on the M16 and the M4. Uh, bullpup's a completely different animal. Uh, but you start practicing it, start using it, you know, just jumping in and out of the truck with right. it. You know, you realize that the uh, the short barrel um, really, you know, it's, it's nice and light. All the weight's yeah. in the back. You know, you can literally carry the thing like a handgun. Exactly. Pretty you know, much all day. Yeah. Everything's urban conflict nowadays. Right. You know, you're going to be in a city or something somewhere. It's going to be clearing rooms. It's going to be rooftops. It's going to be streets, alleys. I mean, it's it's all. It's got its merits. Yeah. yeah I mean, you know, everybody loves a Colt rifle. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, bullpup, there's uh, something to be said for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's jump on over the shotgun. All right. Thank you. So here we have the uh, Tavor TS-12. It's a 12-gauge semi-automatic bullpup shotgun. Uh, it runs off of uh, three magazine tubes. It's got a three-inch chamber, so you can shoot three-inch shells or two and three-quarter inch. Nice. So running three-inch shells, you get four rounds per tube. Two and three-quarter inch rounds gives you five rounds per tube. Okay. You can chamber around. You can ghost load it, similar to like a Benelli M4. You can get 17 rounds in that gun. Okay. Uh, the overall weight right, rings right in around nine pounds. Um, you press that little paddle right there. You yeah. can rotate the magazine oh, tubes cool. left or right. right. So you can dedicate a tube to slugs, dedicate a tube to double lot buck, you know. Okay. It's a 18 inch barrel and the inside of the barrel is threaded for Benelli and Beretta chokes. Fantastic. Uh, MSRP on this guy is gonna be uh, 1399 when it comes out again sometime in 2019. Okay. Uh, and that's about it. So these, neither of these are available right this second? Correct. Okay. Yeah, we. Uh, you might've seen them at SHOT Show last year. Um, you know, it's. They're both brand new platforms, so we're uh, we're getting there. And extremely popular, though. Yes. So you're just trying to keep up with the demand at this point. Right. Yeah. All right. Great. Hey, that's exciting. Really appreciate your time, Colin. Thank you very hey, much. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Happy shot show. All right, you too. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm with David at Schmidt and Bender. Really excited to introduce some of their new features they've got for 2019. They've got a brand new reticle. I was just talking with David. As a former SF sniper, 10th group guy, we were using the H59 Horse Reticle, so he's actually got something a little bit different to talk about, which I'm eager to learn. Um, so right here behind us, tell us a little bit about this new reticle that you guys are using. Yeah, so Schmidt and Bender and myself, we, I helped design this reticle. It's the grid reticle. It's an in-house made reticle from Schmidt and Bender. Uh, as you can tell here, it's a .2 subtension uh, Christmas tree style reticle. The beauty of this reticle is on 25 power, when you're really stable prone position, these dots will be a little bit more apparent, easier to use, easier to read. But as we back down into a 15 power where we're shooting PRS or uncompromised positions, those dots get just small enough so that they kind of fade away into the background. Nice. So you're not cluttered with uh, looking through a screen right. door like an H59 was in the past. Okay, very cool. Yeah, this is really amazing to see. It actually brings me back quite a bit. One more quick thing about yeah. it. So. You see how the grid pattern goes above the horizontal line? That's yep. the first time this has kind of happened. That's so it. you might say, why would you do that? So if we had, let's say, three target engagements, 400, 600, 800 yards, we can dial for 600 yards, hold under and hold windage for our Absolutely. close target, center windage for our medium target that we're dialed for, and right. then hold over for our final far target. It's a lot easier to count from center up and down one or two than it is to count four or five down here and Absolutely. lose track with stress, yep. time, Holding windage and elevation is so critical and is actually more more intuitive with what you're going to be doing in a real combat situation. You're exactly. not going to go off target, dial, and then come back on and now you've missed your opportunity. Holding that windage and elevation is so crucial. Definitely this sort of reticle system is the way to go if you're going to do any sort of long range shooting. Absolutely. And not to mention Schmidt & Bender is by far the most premium product in the industry. We used Night Force a lot, but mm -hmm. every now and again we'd get a Schmidt and Bender, and it was like, oh, oh, I want that, I want that. So I used a Night Force as a, as a you know, junior guy. But um, yeah, tell me a little bit more about some of the other hot products, and this one here in particular, you can't talk about price point yet because it's so new, right? Yep. 
Yep, so the base price on a locking turret, as you know, for 2018 pricing, we'll just go off of that. Yeah. 3500 was the base price on that, and uh, 3200 for the double turn non locking version on that. Okay. Um, I don't anticipate it to be terribly too much of an upcharge, but I guess we'll see when they when the powers that be level. Yeah, of course. I mean, most importantly, everybody gets a nice little preview. This is really nice. Yeah. Man, really phenomenal. Nice product. All right, thanks a lot, David. Really appreciate your time. Not a Great information. Excited to also put some links in here. David actually has his own shop. He can hook us up with some special pricing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how I threw him on the spot. Thanks again. Happy SHOT Show. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Welcome back. SHOT Show here with Patrick from Savage. He's going to tell us a little bit about what they have new for 2019. We have a lot of new SKUs, but the thing I'm really most impressed with are two of our MSRs, MSR 10s okay. to be specific. One is the three-gun model. It's Competition HD. What's HD? Heavy duty. Nice. So you got to say it like an MMA guy. Heavy duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it really is because it's in 308. Now, it's fairly lightweight, around eight pounds. Let's start with a 300-pound elephant in the room. It's carbon fiber barrel. This beautiful. Is a roof research barrel, R5 rifle, cut to our specs. Oh, man, yeah. Isn't that right. nice? That is beautiful. Uh, interesting. You see that little nut right there? Yep. That's what captures the gas block. Okay. So instead of being pinned in from the bottom or clamped in from the side, right. zero gas leakage. Wow. So all the gas that you're using, you'll be using through our adjustable gas block. Nice. On the front, muzzle brake. Yep. Everyone's got a muzzle brake. True. Any of you guys that have been have followed me at all know I wrote the two very first two articles anywhere on effectiveness of AR-15 brakes. Yep. Well, I work for Savage, so what do you put on the front? That's right. A very effective AR-15 brake. There you go. It happens to be a 308 brake. Nice. Work our way back. We've got a very thin, very, very narrow handguard. That's you know, for, especially for a three gunner, the closer you can keep your hand in line with the bore the more apt you're able to point the bullet where you want it to go. So and if you're holding down here, it's like, oh, no, right there, it makes sense. Go ahead. And these are all M-Lock features? These are M-Lock. We have a QD release right here, all built in-house. Awesome. Really nice. Uh, because it's bolted at four points in the front, there's virtually no flex between the two. It's really a solid setup. Again, nice. indicative to all of our MSR-10 line, it's this hour forged upper and lower. Okay. The, the bolt carrier is about 860, 680,000 shorter than a conventional one, if it's such a thing. So light ladder reciprocating mass, lower recoil impulse. We're still getting to the good stuff. Side charger. Oh yeah. Non-reciprocating side charging handle. There we go. All right. And we still keep the conventional one. Well, why would you keep the conventional one? Well, first off, you think it's a gas leakage area where the interface between the two is very tight. So if you're running a suppressor, you aren't getting gas in the face. But the real reason is occasionally you have an oversized round or something stuck. Trying to use a side charger and order the gun to extract a right. fired round is difficult. This it works in line, it makes perfect sense, has most amount of leverage, so we've kept that feature intentionally to keep this gun running in the most extreme conditions. Okay. So we got a great two-stage trigger, it's nice. all nickel boron, really good trigger. I use it across the course for everything I shoot. And all the pretty little red yeah. stuff, pretty magma on it, pretty. Yeah. And you Beautiful. can see the opening is just yeah. magma. So, you know, in, in the heavy division, the three-way right. division, right. generally we're limited to 20 rounds. Yep. So you're going to reload on the clock. So you got a mag well to get it right in there. Awesome. It really is quite a package. What kind of accuracy can we expect with this? You know, we don't offer accuracy guarantees, but you know that Savage is known for their accuracy. Right. My personal guns, and I don't shoot anything that doesn't shoot really well, sub-minute is very simply done on a regular routine basis, but around 0.8 is what I tend to average with the good quality ammo, which Fantastic. is, for me, Federal Gold Metal Match. Yeah, there you go. All right. Very it really good. is a hot, complete package, great trigger, good setup, ambi safety, it's just a sweet piece of equipment. What are we looking at it for a price point? I think it's 32 for in the 308 and 29 in 556. All right, but it is all tricked out, so it's not like you're going to have to do a whole lot. There is not really one thing I can see that it needs. Purely custom, straight from Savage, straight out of the box. Savage. Instead of being a, it's a boutique rifle right. at a competitive price from right. a, a large manufacturer. Exactly. So really is a great way if you just want something off the shelf that is ready to go. Beautiful. Savage. Really awesome option. This is actually one of Patrick's favorites, so really exciting. Truly. All right. Um, what do we got next? Let's go to let's go check out the other MSR that's really cool. It's our it's our precision MSR 10. Okay. I'll, I'll keep working my way forward. All right. You see the bipod stuff, that's cool. Yep. Stainless barrel, 22 and a half inch. Nice. Six creed more, six and a half and 308. Beautiful. Again, our, our proprietary and high quality brake. Looks great. All right, you've got it just about all covered? No, we don't. <laughs> Check out this, ready? Oh. They call that an Arca Swiss rail. Okay. It's integral, not a bolt on, it came with the extrusion. It's part of our handguard. Nice. And what that allows you to do, now you can use a bipod or a bag or a sling stop. Let's right. say you had a bag for PRS, precision rifle shooting, and you come to a barricade, you leave it loose, right. you, tap, you grab the barricade, slam that thing down, slide yourself into position. As soon as you do, tighten it up, 
you're ready to go. I love that. This is an amazing addition to a rifle. Now, there's several companies coming out with accessory rails you put on your existing handguard yeah. at 200 bucks a pop. Right. We built it right into the gun. That's awesome. Having so, that extra utility, that is just, that is really unique. It is very unique. It's the only one in the entire show right now that has it integral. And it came truly came out of the brainchild of one of our engineers. Says, I think we need this on, I want this on my rifle. Yeah. So he put it on his rifle. And I now we offer these. his rifle here at the show. What kind of accuracy? What kind of price point? Uh, I think it's a $24.99, which okay. is an amazing value for that what it good. can do. Yeah. Uh, engineering has you know several 0.3 inch groups. I just got mine in six Creed more. I haven't shot it yet. But again, I expecting easily in this half to three quarter MOA range, that's not awesome. just at 100 yards at distance. So, because yesterday we're at it, or Monday we were at Media Day, and you know, Media Day was windy as heck and blowing yeah. all kinds of, but once we had wind dialed, everybody was hitting a 10 inch disc at 875 nice. with this rifle, boringly. It was just like, <laughs> really? Like, hang on a second, I'm bang, hit it, bang. It's just amazing. So, we are really proud of this offer. That is cool when it's really dialed in and it's almost too easy. Yeah. Almost too easy. You need that high wind to make it a good exactly, challenge. Exactly, exactly. What are you guys using for optics when you're running these? Uh, I think we had a Vortex on one, we had a Bushnell on the other, and if you're asking me, I'm shooting Burris all the way. Okay, very cool. Very nice. This is really, really impressive. How long has Savage been doing this kind of custom line? You know, geared towards the three gun. Well, we've only been doing MSRs for about three years. Okay. Uh, and they brought me on initially to help with the MS, to find, kind of like put the finishing touches to the MSR project. Again, I don't want to overstate my influence. Right. Because that's what I am. I'm just an influencer. I'm not an engineer. <laughs> uh, but the engineering has been really good to work with. So, about three years on the MSR line, and we keep growing it. We keep changing. Yeah. I think we're up to 10 different MSRs now. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, so, we've got quite a wide variety. No matter what you shoot, no matter what you're a hunter, you're a shooter, you're a three gunner, you're a range plinks, you like shooting long range PRS, we have an, an MSR to fit you. That's fantastic. Really, some great options from Savage. Really excited about these. Patrick, thank you so much. Very for your welcome, time. sir. Happy Truly shot, show. Man. Thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Bye, man. He, went, he came from B23 with me and went over to the C210. He just no seen the troops are major and then. I think it works like GA or something. We had a couple B23 guys. Yeah, we, for some reason there's a, there's a big, you never hear first group guys. We never yeah. know it, but everybody wants to go to 10th Yeah. Obviously, it's a lot, quite a little bit nicer place to live. So. Yeah, it's beautiful out there. Fayetteville's awesome, as you know. I still love it. <laughs> my favorite thing. All right, guys, so we're back here with Beretta. Todd is going to help us out here. He's a group guy, so we are just shooting the breeze a little bit about group. And, hey, tell me a little bit about what you did, a little of your experience. I'm excited to hear it. I mean, well, we just met. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like a huge reunion here for all the SF guys. It's kind of fun. Uh, so I spent, uh, I guess, 19 years on an ODA in third group. Uh, first battalion, then B23 for, I think, 12 years-ish. Uh, oh, yeah. I just retired about a year, a little bit over a year and a half ago. Uh, got picked up as a pro shooter for, for Beretta, so I get paid to drive around and shoot guns. So I've, done, I've been doing everything from three gun to king of the two mile. Uh, Awesome. Just pretty much anything with the action shooting sport. So, well, tell us a little bit about what you guys got here in front of us from Beretta. Really well, exciting. Th this is kind of the milkshake that brings all the boys to the yard. It's a <laughs> it's a 408 Shy Tech uh, chambered uh, Vitrix Tormentum. Vitrix is a is an Italian uh, high end rifle company. They, there's they got a few of them here. There's a few over there, but they uh, they kind of specialize in off the shelf, ultra open class, high end. I call them Ferraris because it's yeah. Italian, so I just say it's the Ferrari of rifles. It's amazing. You yeah. really can't do anything to this gun to make it better because right. it's already, I mean, I've, sh I've shot everywhere from a .17 inch group to a .3 inch group with this, with my 375. I just got, they just told me I'm shooting this one for King of the Two Mile this year, and I'm nice. going to go to France, I think, and shoot another King of the Two Mile with it. But they're, they're amazing. It's tough life. It, it is. It's hard, man. <laughs> Every day I wake up, I have to stretch and hydrate. No, it's a good time. Uh, I can't complain at all. But Nice. Yeah, so everything on this gun is something that uh, that, that Beretta owns. Burris, rings, uh, Steiner T5 XI scope with a horse reticle, of course. Of course. Gotta have that. Yeah. Um, and it's all owned by Beretta, so it's, it's nice to have a company that sponsors you where you can get everything you need to go to the range. Yeah, you know, one stop without having to outsource. So I mean, it's look pretty at the, nice. Look at the detail on this bolt right here. I mean, this that's the most amazing thing about the whole gun. I love it. Is you don't ever have to grease it. I, the uh, Giuseppe, the owner, can tell you what the nomenclature is behind it. It's a big long word that I don't understand. Yeah. But it's the way the molecules work in the in the coating is like it's like oil, and and you can feel it. It even feels yeah, greasy, no, but it's really not. Nice. There's no grease in there. That and, is beautiful. Uh, and for us, having such a large bore bolt, it doesn't bind. You would think there'd be a little bit of binding oh, like there normally is. smooth, man. Yeah, the, the trigger. I'm doing my left hand. Yeah, yeah right the trigger timing is amazing oh, on those things. It is adjustable trigger from a pound, and 1.2 pounds to four, I think is what you can adjust it to. Um, but yeah. It, what it, kind of price point are we looking at? 
Uh, they, they initially started out at like 14 grand, but wow. since we're competing with AI, it just made sense to bring it back. I think uh, MSRP is like 8,900. That's amazing. Which is, I mean, you can't build a gun like this no. for that much anymore. I mean, it's, and then you still have to deal with tuning it and making, right. you know, getting all the kinks out. And that's, everything I do is off the shelf because I think that's the way life should be. I mean, it's cool to build your own gun, but it is. I don't want to build a gun I have to work on. Right. Like my Harley. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but that's, that was kind of the whole point behind it. And I think they knocked it out of the park. That's so, fantastic. Really exciting. It is a high-end gun, and uh, you, you do have to pay to play, but yeah. you know, there, we actually have something for everybody with the Sakos and Tikas price point all the way down to you know your $1,000 entry-level right. rifles, which actually are just as good as these, if you want to know the truth, but accuracy-wise. Really uh, But yeah, they, they didn't skip any details on this. He, does, he makes tactical guns, and there are bench rest guns, too. Uh, one of the triggers over there is like 8 grams. Have you ever felt an 8-gram trigger? It's pretty crazy. You'll have an AD as soon as you touch it. It's, way more, <laughs> it's crazy. I've never felt one before. <laughs> but, yeah, so every, everything they do is pretty high-end, man. It, and it's uh, it's starting to take off pretty well. We're, we're filling up the stores with them. And uh, yeah. they're, last year when we kind of unveiled most of these bigger caliber guns, they didn't have them in the States yet. They were still going through all the you know, the process to get them in here through the law and stuff. Now they're, they're starting to get proliferate and matriculate down to the into the ranks, and you can get them at shields and all sorts of the different bass pro shops and everything else so yeah, they're available just amazing i mean we were shooting the uh the mark 13 mm -hmm. you know which is a remington 700 platform yep you know had the collapsible stock like this but just impressive to see what we're coming up with you know it's right it just keeps getting, getting better, better. Yeah. i know everybody is and that's yeah. kind of one of the things is machining tolerances keep getting the machines get better so even your worst firearms right. are better than they ever were when you yeah. and i were new yeah you exactly know I mean? so. hell yeah <laughs> yep Man, so, really impressive. Really great to meet you. Awesome. I had a feeling once I saw you, I was like, right. yeah, this is probably... Yeah, we all look the same. It's a group, Some dude. of us were fatter than others. I mean, it's just the way it works. <laughs> hey, man, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. I'm old. So. We're, st we're, still, we're still... We still got it. Right, a We still bit. got it. For yeah. about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we got to take a little breather. That's it. Awesome. Really impressive. Thank you for your service, by yeah, the man. way. Yeah, man, great to run into too. another group guy. For real. Hell yeah. Awesome, man. Well, all I appreciate brother. you guys stopping by. Yes, sir. Thanks. All right, guys, we're back here with Paul with Black Rifle Coffee. I'm really glad I stopped by for a little free sample. Because we're doing the video, okay. I get upgraded right, to a bigger you. sample. So there you go. This is already paying off tremendously. Yeah. I love coffee. Let's see what, it, let's see what it tastes like. Shots of coffee at SHOT Show. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, man. That's very good. I like how you went in there real slow I, so you don't I wanna, just I, burn your tongue. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I want to just get every little piece of it, you know? Yep. I'm looking at the gunship here, so Black Rifle Gunship is what we're drinking. Correct. This is gunship. This is a uh, light, a little closer to medium roast. Uh, it's a Colombian bean. This yeah. is what we're offering all week here. It's very smooth. Yeah. yeah. I like my coffee to be just like diesel fuel. You know, I like it just... <laughs> but this is right on. I mean, I usually drink really dark, strong stuff. Full on espresso guy. Everybody that's on this channel knows how espresso caffeinated I get. So right here for a recharge, Black Rifle Coffee. Dude, this is gonna help me get through it. Cool, thanks. Tell Chris. me a little bit about the company because I've seen you guys all over the place. Mm -hmm. Is it veteran owned and operated or? Yes, it is veteran owned and operated. Cool. Uh, as, as we employ more people, we tend to you know give veterans first uh, first look when awesome. we hire and stuff like that. Cool. We're all about supporting the community, giving back. You know, nice. We do a lot of charity events. Right now, Matt Best is yeah. actually in Florida doing military makeover with Jared Taylor as well. So oh, cool. that's a charity event where we're uh, renovating a veteran's home for him. So Matt we're Best out there. Is awesome. Is, yep. he, is he here? You He's know not. He's, oh, yeah, man. yeah. I know Matt. Matt's a good friend. Um, Evan Hafer is here somewhere. Okay. So, yeah, we do have Evan Hafer, the CEO of Black Rifle here. Um, but yeah, veteran owned and operated, founded in uh, 2014. You know, we're yeah. going into our fifth year here, and um, cool. we're pretty stoked to be here with FN. Awesome, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Happy SHOT Show. Nice Thanks, meeting you. Chris. Enjoy. All right, guys. Back with Kadex. Really excited SHOT Show here. Two beautiful ladies. I already forgot their names again. I just, I have a problem with that. I just get so focused on the eyes again. So okay. we've got here. Cassandra. Cassandra mm -hmm. and Vanessa. Vanessa. I knew it. I knew I knew their names. So we're going to go through some of these quick little features. Most importantly, talk about them and Kadex and some of the cool things they have to offer. Who wants to go first? I know you have a calendar here, which looks yes, this great. This is our 2019 Tactical Girls calendar. This is the largest distributed Guns and Girls calendar internationally. Today at SHOT Show and all week at SHOT Show, all proceeds of our calendar goes to americansnipers.org. That's awesome. Well, and this picture looks really great. This is you Thank here. Thank you. Yes, and then I have Cassandra. All right, let's see Cassandra. She's Miss September. Oh, Miss September. All right. I love her pictures. Super cute. 
Oh, wow. All right. It's my badass alter ego. Yeah, badass alter ego. So you guys shoot a lot? Do you we enjoy do. shooting? We do. All right, tell me a little bit about what you like at Kdex the most, and maybe what is your preferred firearm to shoot? It doesn't have to be anything long range. Do you guys shoot long range? Yeah, actually we do. Yes. Uh, that's the great thing about Kdex is that they are the extreme range supremacy. Yeah, yeah. they have the, uh, the chassis, they have the full weapon yeah. system. It's really, really easy to shoot. I love to give it uh, all the credit whenever I hit 1150 meters last year. So it's extremely nice weapon. <laughs> That's impressive. 1150? Yes. yes. <laughs> nice. Dang. All right. This is really something special. Just, let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice this one is especially action. nice because it has the multi-caliber system. Yeah. So it's anything and everything you want. <laughs> Off-handed here. What kind of... Uh, are you guys, these are the optics you're shooting, the Leopolds here? I'm you sorry? Got, these are the optics you're shooting here? Actually, yeah. Yeah? With, are you shooting with the Horus reticle and everything? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the one with all the crazy dots and yeah, are you are you holding not... for windage and elevation? We, we are reticle? lucky enough to have the spotters who help us out with yeah, that. <laughs> nice. That's yeah, cool. So. Hey, a spotter is key, definitely. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Um, are you guys enjoying SHOT Show? Did you get any Black Rifle coffee? We enjoy it, and of course we got back <laughs> Black Rifle coffee. Who doesn't come and try some of their coffee? It's awesome. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, so what is your favorite tactical outfit? I know we have a couple outfits here. You guys look great, by the way. Thank you. It's to, uh, and you really catch people off guard. So that's really tactical about it as well. You know, it's ready to go, Velcro, very, uh, very fit. <laughs> tight. Just a little modified BDO. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I remember everybody wearing this in the military. I'm an army vet guy, yeah. so yeah, this, yeah oh. that's why I imagine people wear we'll get, it. We'll get one sized up for you. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> I could probably fit into it well. Um, thank you both for your thank time. You. Really excited yeah. to meet you both. Yeah. And Lovely hey, to meet you. Yes, 1150 <laughs> meters. Wow. Great to meet you. What is your uh, for the shot? Do you remember what I did last for year? For this accurate last shot. Last year I did. Are y'all on the shooting team or? No, it's just no? for fun. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Very good. Well, I'm sure it was at least over 600. Uh, for sure. Okay, for sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you both very much. Thank Happy you. shot show. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Yeah, of course. All right, guys. Welcome back. I'm here with Joe at Mossberg. Really excited to tell us about a new pistol they've got. What do we got here, Joe? How you doing? Yeah, we have the Mossberg MC1. It's a nine millimeter uh, Ruger. And what it is, it's got a DLC system. It's a diamond-like coating, which is very heavy resistant from oh, yeah. scratch. Nice. Uh, for, you know, concealment, if you have a, a, a case and what have you. Absolutely. Really durable. Ooh, I like that trigger, a little flat trigger on it's there. It's got a flat face trigger, yeah. that's right. The average poundage is about 5.2 pounds. Okay. Let's um, see what that feels like. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, man. Not bad. Yeah, okay. Very good. And Mag the firearm comes with two magazines. Comes with a, uh, a five round okay. and a six round. Nice. And as you can see, with the with the one round extension here, it gives you a better grip right here. Absolutely. You know, just uh, and you have one more round. We have three different versions. We have a three dot system, a true glow system, okay, uh, fiber optic, and we have the uh, laser beam as yeah, well. I so see that. All right. we offer different options there for uh, different varieties of, of buyers out there. That's amazing. Okay, what are we looking at for a price point? Four twenty five. Four twenty five, and they they excel up to uh, the uh, commemorative, which is going to be at I believe at, uh, uh, at six eighty eight. Six eighty eight. So it's got a twenty four karat uh, plating on there. What? Yep, and they're going to be only 1,000 of these, nice. and they'll be serialized. So okay. for the for the collector, I have to be part of history for the yeah. 100th anniversary. Well, that's a nice that's, price point. Can that you pick be... that one up and show us a little bit? I mean, really, for something custom, and it's gold-plated, you said? Yes. What carat? 24. <laughs> for 686 bucks. Wow, look at that. Nice. Very cool. Something unique, different. Right from the factory as well. And one thing about the MC1, which makes it super unique, is, is the takedown system, which I can demonstrate very shortly. Yeah, here. yeah. As any as any breakdown on any firearm when you're cleaning it, you check for live ammo, of course. Yeah, of Magazine course. is empty. You lock your firearm back. Chamber is clear. At this point, really no tools involved. Right. The, the back plate here removes one snap. Okay. Here's your striker. Yep. Oh, wow. She comes right apart here. 
Get it going into the yeah. internals here, brush her out, Kinda drop some oil. like the Glock internals somewhat. Very similar, yeah. but ours are not molded into the frame. Right, okay. So uh, these are dropping drop -in parts in here, so if uh, uh, anyone that, again, that shall need an extra part for whatever reason, yep. they don't lose their frame. After reassembly, just put her back in. Trigger needs to be all the way forward. Gotcha. So the disconnector, so there's no, uh, so the hammer won't drop. Right. Slider in. Yeah. Oh, and then you put your the final piece. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Wow. I'm ready to go. All right. So the MC1, this is brand new for 2019. Brand new, exclusive. Wow. It's made by Mossberg in the US of A. Right. So this is your first line of handguns since 100 years ago. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. All right. Something really exciting from Mossberg. Great price point too. You can't beat that. Um, and I like it. I mean, nice trigger pull. Not really. We're still going to take a look at it, see if we can add something, but love it. Great platform out of the box. Nice concealed carry option. I like this. I love the flat trigger feature, too. Do they come with a curved trigger or are they all flat? No, they're all flat. That's cool. Really cool. Thanks, Joe. Really you appreciate your time. Thank you. Happy SHOT Show. Likewise. Hey, Chris Nelson here with Randy Couture at SHOT Show 2019. Huge fan. Really Thank excited you. to show you a little bit about what we're doing here. We're a small, veteran-owned operating company. We're working with kel directly. Have you ever seen the kel Sub-2000? I don't think I have. Yeah, well, this is pretty interesting as it's a pistol caliber carbine, folds in half, and it locks right in place there. Now, okay. the cool thing is you can run Glock mags. So, say you've got a Glock 17, okay. you can run that you know, as your secondary and run this as your primary. And now you've got a folding red dot that'll fold into place. So, we're all about creating solutions to problems. Huh. You know, this is one that a lot of guys have just. This weapon has really developed over time for us. We've come up with the muzzle brake, the folding optic mount, the flip sights here, okay. replacing a lot of plastic with aluminum. You'll see here, this is the actual trigger guards, aluminum flat face okay, trigger. Yeah. If you feel that trigger pull, you can go ahead and pull it. I think it's charged already. There you go. Okay. Pretty smooth, pretty light. Pretty started flat, at, flat trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Started at 10 pounds, so it was really heavy, and a plastic trigger had a lot of flex in it. And this is nine millimeter? Yes, sir, mm -hmm. nine millimeter. So you can really do a little bit more with it, a little more stability, a little bit more long range accuracy. Yeah. Um, fun little pack, yeah, pack is, pistol caliber cool. carbine. Throw it in a backpack. It's really light. You've got the bolt tube cover here, heavyweight brass bolt inside. You know, they added some more weight to the charging handle here. Really just a fun all oh, around. That's charging handle, okay. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give it a rack. Give it a good feel there. It's a fun little compact firearm. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, thank you very much. Really appreciate your time. Awesome, man. Good to finally meet you. Thanks. You as well. <laughs> yes, sir. Pleasure. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back. SHOT Show 2019. Really excited to introduce some of the HK products here. Really excited to meet with Derek Thanks here. By. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to lead us through some of the products that are new for 2019. Hey, everyone. We're obviously at the HK booth, SHOT Show 2019. And new for 2019, I'd like to show you the HK416 pistol and rifle dedicated 22 platforms. So you may be familiar with these a little bit in the, the past. These are completely different guns. These are still made by Umarex in Germany for Heckler & Koch, but the difference is now they're fully supported, warrantied by HK USA. Nice. So anything should happen or something needs to be done with your gun or you have a problem, you've got a huge support network here from HK. HK did send some engineers to the Umarex factory and they oversaw some changes to this platform. Wow. So what you're going to see on these guns, here's the pistol configuration of the HK416 22 long rifle, the rifle configuration of the HK416 22 long rifle, and down here is the pistol version as you see up here with the stabilizing brace. Thanks. And we've got some silencer co suppressors on here in case you're wondering what those are. Are those fixed or can you remove them? Yeah, they're removable, and okay. that brings me to the first enhancement on these guns. Very important, we changed it from a proprietary thread pitch that used to exist to the standard half by 28 thread pitch. Perfect. So now it's an easy suppressor host, right? Suppressor can screw right on, no problem, no special adapters. Right. We also added an MLOC furniture pattern, so there's a lot of people using MLOC accessories, yeah, and, and now. Boom, on and easy. Is that a QD? QD release. Nice, nice pickup, great. exactly. Yeah. On the rifle, we added the slimline buttstock. Um, 
ammo. People have asked about ammo. These things eat everything. We've been feeding it bolt pack ammunition and it's just chewing through everything. Awesome. So not only that cheap stuff, but also the uh, more expensive and reliable CCI mini mags, obviously no, no problem feeding. What's the length of this barrel here? I don't know the exact length of that barrel, but that's the pistol configuration. Yeah, and certainly don't awesome. put a stock on that without yeah. the proper uh, paperwork in place. Exactly. And then we've got the 16-inch rifle variant. Very cool. And obviously these come with the folding sights. A lot of people put red dots and other optics on these guns. So these still come with some iron sights and they're folding sights. Excellent. So still slap your red dot or other optic on there and you're ready to go. Do you have to get the tag stamp for the suppressor? Or? You're going to need a tag stamp okay. to have your suppressor. Exactly gotcha. right. So okay. don't add that unless you do it right. Right, yeah, of course. Exactly. So cheap ammo, cheap gun to feed, go plank, have fun. And here's the deal. You're standing in the HK booth and yeah. guess what? Here's an HK under $500. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was impressed with all these price points, definitely. Really get into the game quickly at a really reasonable price point. What's the trigger pull like on these? The trigger pull, um, you know, this is not a match grade trigger. Right. So the trigger pull for what most people are going to use it for, which is shooting, yeah. shooting a lot, planking, hunting, or whatever, is perfect. If somebody's looking for a match two-stage trigger, yeah. that's not what this is designed right. for. Very cool. Very awesome. nice. Great price. Point. I've got something to show you up front, though, that, that a lot of people are going to want to see, too. So should we maybe head up there and Let's check it out? It. Let's head on up All there. Right. All right, guys, back here with Derek at HK. We're going to go over the VP9. What do we got here? All right, this is the long slide. Finally, the highly anticipated. I've been wanting it. Focus in right there just so you can prove the point. This is the long barrel to VP9, known as the VP9L or long slide. And if you'll notice right here on the slide, it says VP9LB. And that B is for button, for the button mag release. Okay. The VP9 long slide is gonna be available as a complete gun package, uh, as you're used to when you buy a, a pistol with the magazines. Um, and it'll be available in either the button mag release or the traditional paddle mag release. So don't worry, it's not one or the other. They're both available, but they're both available to please everybody. Great. Okay? Okay. If you are already a VP9 owner, not only can you buy this as a whole pistol package like you're used to, but it's available as a kit, the VP9 long slide kit, meaning you don't have to buy a whole new pistol. Great. You'll be able to turn your VP9 into the long slide by buying the slide, the barrel, and the recoil assembly as one piece. Nice. And then you can put it on your existing VP9, so if you already have a trigger the way you want it, you don't right. have to change all that out now. Very cool. What's the price point on that? Any idea? The, that the MSRP on the pistol and the slide kit is coming real, real okay. soon. They haven't released that exact number, all but right. this is going to be available in February. That's nice. So they don't have a lot of time to get that out. Right, yeah. And I want to run you through just a couple things on the VP9 long slide. So not only is it the five inch barrel, there we go. but the VP9 is already known for its incredible accuracy. The long slide features the competition barrel that also has the O-ring for enhanced accuracy. Yeah, that's interesting. So what you'll notice with the O-ring is when the slide is forward, right. that barrel will not move. It wow. is completely locked in. Okay. So if you start shooting for accuracy to compare the two, you're going to notice a big, big difference. Okay. Another thing on the long slide, whether you purchase it as a complete pistol or as the kit, you're going to have the LPA adjustable sights, Those are nice. adjustable rear that everybody's wanted forever, That's beautiful. and of course a fiber optic front. That's really well done. What's this trigger pull like? And I noticed this Paul No change in the existing VP9. Okay. It's a standard, awesome VP9 trigger. So this okay. is not. Um, there's no compromise on that trigger. Nice. Very good. Wow, that's really nice. VP9 long slide is here, everybody. Yeah. I Real love, deal. I love the slide detail there. That's really impressive. Looks good, feels good, it shoots good. I've had a little bit of time on it, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying it in competition. But for all you guys that already have a VP9, now it's going to be real easy for you to add a long slide and get on out there and start winning some more matches. There we go. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right, Derek, what else we got over here? All right, everybody. This is the uh, HK SP5K. So for all the roller lock fans that are out there, you can have a real, a real, real HK roller locked gun. This is this is the civilian or commercial variant of the infamous uh, MP5K, or K is Kurtz for short, the short barreled MP5. Um, this gun's been out for a little over two years right now. 
comes in a nice package, hard case packaging with two 30 round magazines, yep. ambidextrous trigger pack, which is a really nice feature and upgrade. Very nice. Comes with an awesome, th this rail is actually from the uh, MP5 MLI or Midlife Improvement Series, and it's a phenomenal, phenomenal rail. I want to point you up here to how it attaches. There's a little system in here that's easy to, you, you just tighten that down, it won't mar up your receiver. Okay. And, and this nice. this is not going anywhere. This might be one of the most uh, underappreciated and under known rail so under underappreciated and least known rail systems for the MP5, and it is just awesome, absolutely okay. awesome. But roller lock delightness in a in a short package makes for uh, a neat little gun to either shoot with the sling that comes with it, where yeah. you can push it out and fire, absolutely. or you can SBR it and add a stock, right. or obviously you can add some of the, the popular braces to this platform too. This one's nine millimeter? Nine millimeter. Okay. Price point's 26 dollars is MSRP on the okay. HKSP5K. Yeah. It looks like a lot of fun to shoot. It's a lot of fun to yeah. shoot. And these come in and you know, some limited batches, so when you see it, you're going to want to strike and get it. Okay. Gotcha. Don't yeah. be waiting around forever. When you see one, you gobble it up. <laughs> and one other thing, let me show you something. Yeah. Some people prefer, instead of the push button mag release, some people prefer what's known as a paddle mag release. And you can add a paddle mag release. You can go to a couple different places. But right here in this little slot is designed to add the paddle mag release with a simple bushing mechanism. So it's something you can do at home. Yep. You don't have to be an expert gunsmith. Right. You don't have to send the gun anywhere. Yeah. And pow, before you know it, you have the little paddle for the magazine release. It's a really nice thing to be able to add. Everybody likes to trick the guns out. Yes, Definitely. they do. Customize them. Oh, yeah. Well, this is great. That's a really impressive platform. Man, Anybody that knows me knows MP5 is my gun. So absolutely. These, yeah. these little babies hold a nice little place yeah, in my heart. Absolutely. Good deal. Thanks a lot, Derek. Really appreciate it. Thank you for coming by HK. Absolutely. We appreciate Happy Shot time. Show 2019. Thank you. We hope to see everybody out there with SP5K, VP9 Long Slide, Blasting 22. There we go. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Steve with Springfield Armory. Really excited to go over the St. Victor. What do you got for us today, Steve? Well, let me talk to you guys about the St. Victor. It's a different version of our free flow handguard model that we came out with a couple years ago. What we did is it kind of customers have asked for certain things such as, first you'll notice we'll start at the top, top of the gun, front of the gun. We added a muzzle brake instead of a flash hider. So own proprietary design. Very cool. Um, you know, real effective. I've got a couple on guns that I tried out the last couple years. Nice. Um, we went with the, the full length 15 inch handguard, 16 inch barrel, 15 inch handguard. It's still a one and tw eight twist barrel. It's got right. a mid length gas, it's a low profile gas block. You'll notice we took the Picatinny rail off the top of this, yeah, except for where the front side is. Okay. okay? Um, a little bit here, too. Um, funny thing is I asked for one of these a while back, and they said, yeah, we didn't really go for that. But here, here we see it. So. Yeah. Um, but for those of the guys that like to grab the, the gun around the top Absolutely. of the front handguard, yeah. yep. That's so cool. from there, um, you'll notice that we've got a much improved backup iron sight system on these guns. Right. Whereas before, they were just you had to, you had to manually lift them up, but they're, they're push button activated, just nice. like that on the front and the back. Wow. Okay? Yeah, um, the M-lock pattern on the handrail itself, you'll notice that we just kind of angled it, make yeah, it just aesthetics to make it look a little Very different, cool. you know. Um, and as you're coming back, are these there, sights removable? The backup yes, sights? yep, okay. yep, they are. Real easy. Just there's a little just an Allen screw right there on both front and back. Then you move back a little bit. Same exact Bravo Company grip, Bravo yeah. Company um, rear stock. All tricked out. And from out. there, what we've done is we added a same nickel boron finish that we had on the original Saint. But what we also added is we changed the trigger a little bit to kind That's of trick, really cool. trick your, your trick your mind into thinking the trigger is actually lighter because the further down the trigger you get, the little bit more leverage you get. Oh yeah. So as you grab that gun or grab the trigger, and as you break that that, that finish on that nickel boron breaks in a little bit, it gets right. smoother and smoother. So it feels like it's a lot lighter than it is. So you're kind of tricking yourself. So nice flat trigger. Uh, yeah. One thing I noticed here just today, I sort of think about this gun feels a little bit lighter than the free flow model, and I noticed we have reduced a little bit of the weight in the back part of the barrel from the original free float model. Okay. So, you know, you'll see that the gun feels a little bit lighter, with, even with the added length of the handguard. So, Very you know, cool. you check it out, you know. And nice custom engraving here, too. That's yep. pretty, pretty interesting. I like it, yeah. So we've got a few different options as well, right? So this is the full length option, and there's a pistol option too. Yeah, there's a there's a this is the full length size. Yeah. We also have the the pistol Victor, um, and we also have an SBR Victor. Can we so, take a look at one of the pistol Victors back absolutely, here. Absolutely, absolutely. Really nice the way they're set up. This is the pistol Victor here. So right. again, the, the biggest difference is you'll notice in the 223 yep. is that this has a this one's actually in a 300 blackout, but this one um, it's got a nine inch barrel versus the, the 223's got a got a seven inch barrel. Awesome. Um, but other than that, it's, it's all the same. The flat trigger, there, you know, there's no uh, Picatinny rail on the top. You know, the different shape of the M-lock attachment points on the handguard, and yeah.
Well, what I'm seeing too, all around SHOT Show, you're seeing a lot of the big manufacturers like you guys coming out with some really great off-the-shelf products. This is really lightweight and balanced, and I love this little finger grip right here, so when you're railing out, I mean, it, it's really just... Kind of well thought go. out, yeah, yeah real well, well thought, thought out. out. Really impressed with that. Listen to what some of the guys that are out using the product are saying and yeah. doing, you know? So. And as a pistol, really easy to shoulder, so nothing that you really have to, you know, worry too much about, and the balance, really, Phenomenal. I actually want one of these after just handling it a little bit. So yeah, they're excited. An awesome, awesome, fun gun to shoot. Yeah, guys. really awesome. Yeah, that's very cool. So what else do you guys have? We debuted our the XDM in 10 millimeter. Um, I think the uh, can't exactly sure when the ROE Elite came out in 10 millimeter, but um, it's an ROE Elite operator, so it's got the rail. But it's, it's nice. Traditional 1911. Yep. Okay, we came out with those TRP 1911s and the RMR 1911s earlier in the year, but uh, a little bit better price break on this gun. But this is. This is of all the guns that we did. This is my favorite one. It's yep. got a nice um, birdsong black tee finish, yep. just like all the RO elites. Got a G10 grip on it. It's got an enhanced um, trigger. It's, it's got our, our wedged uh, rear sight on it. But these guns have been proven to be really, really nice. You'll notice we changed the font a little bit, okay. and so you might see that down the road on the uh, on our logo. So if you oh can see yeah, it looks a little bit different. Just the font and the lettering of the Springfield Armory. Right. Okay. Um, so it's a little bit different than what we've had for the last, you know couple decades basically and uh, it's a 10 millimeter too 10 right? millimeter yeah that's really something that people are very eager to get their hands on that, that 10 is making a uh, really nice resurgence you know people are liking it they want a little bit more power they right. realize they'll accept the, the added recoil for the you know the knockdown power that the 10 millimeter provides you know Absolutely. so um, what else moving we on here? down we came out with the uh, this is one thing that since the XDM came out or even the XD guys have always wanted another polymer option right you know to a 10 millimeter so this year we've answered everybody's request for a XDM and 10 millimeter. This one is our four and a half inch XDM. It's, it's, it retains all the XDM features. It's a 15 round magazine, so it's a 15 plus one. Excellent. Uh, magazines are all interchangeable between the two models. And this is the 525 version. So for those guys that are, you know, I don't, I don't see a competition, you know, any, any, any competition other than say bowling pins that a guy's gonna use a 10 millimeter for, but you know, for those guys that are going to go out there hog hunting or doing some coyote shooting, whatnot, having a, a backup semi-automatic that provides yeah. more power than a 45. You know, you've really got nice. the adjustable sight. You know, again, 15 round, 15 plus one capacity. You know, um, the uh, interchangeable back straps. It's, it's all original yep. XDM. Yep, that we've retained in that really gun. Nice. So yeah, like the slide feature here too. It's yep. really lightweight and balanced too. They did a nice job. Yeah, yeah, very exciting. All right, what else we got down here, further down the line? So moving on down the line, some past nice all the treats. candy and stuff that's yeah. on here. Yeah, You know, thanks, Heather, we appreciate that. You, know, you were doing that. <laughs> this, is, this is just a uh, original EMP con concealed carry concert. The gun has been hugely popular. A lot of people just kind of bypass it, but once they pick it up, they're like, whoa, that feels completely different than I thought it was going to. Oh, yeah. Just this, this little bobtail cut on the back of the grip, you know, takes a lot out of your hand that makes the gun feel a lot smaller than it really nice is. Nice clean action too. So what we did with this one was we did the EMP and, and, uh, and the concealed carry time too. This has got a, a desert flat dark earth finish, okay, Cerakote on that guy. So the gun's, the gun's the same as the original EMP concealed carry contour, but what we did was we um, you know, did some different finish options for people that, that request those, you know? The FDE, the OD green, Yep, black. OD green with the flat dark earth, and this original black with a tactical gray frame. You know, just, just dressing it up a little bit for people that want something other than black. Absolutely. You know? I see some threaded barrels down here. Here we go, we came out with the OSP. Okay. And we offered the OSP um, with and without the optic on it. For those of you who had, you had your own optic you want to put on it, then you go that route. But also, too, is we did a threaded barrel. So the guns now come with two barrels. It comes with the regular four and a half inch barrel, and it comes with the threaded barrel. So if the guy wants to put a suppressor on there, he can. Absolutely. We've also added the adjust. Um, fixed sights that are yeah. elevated enough to see A, over the suppressor, but also be able to use in case your optic did go down. That's okay. great. I so like they're, that. they're they're up a little bit higher. So um, the main idea with this guy was with the taller sights, you put a suppressor on there, you can't see over the suppressors. That's hence the the taller sights on right. it. So these guys are just kind of a, gun's been out a little while, but we changed a little bit of things with adding the second barrel in the gun. So you get both. That's so if cool. you didn't want to use the threaded barrel, you could throw your regular four and a half inch barrel in there and you're good to go. Um, Everybody likes options. Yeah. yeah. So so this is what you see at this this area, this counter. Okay. Um, you know, the MP tens, the OSPs. So really fantastic new options. Love it. You guys really are thinking through a lot of this stuff too, with the higher sites and everything else. It's right. Well done. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you very much, Steve. You Appreciate bet. your time. Thanks, Chris. Happy shot show. Right, guys. Hey guys, and we're back here with Aaron at Browning. Really excited to see some of the pistols they got. 
let's go ahead and run through them here together, Aaron. Okay, in the 1911-22s, we got some different new color combinations. We got some with muzzle brakes, lasers, things Very like cool. that. The 1911-380s, we've got a couple new variations. Probably the coolest ones are uh, the medallion engraved. That's nice. About 20% uh, engraving coverage on the slide. Yeah. And then the, uh, the high grade that has uh, a, a complete coverage on the slide. And it's really nice in that it's deep relief. It's not some superficial treatment. Right. When you feel it with with your fingers, wow. it's nice and deep. That's nice. Look at that. Yeah. What's this chambered in? So it's 22 LR or 380? The, this is a 380. That's 380. Okay. Yep. And I see the 22s up here. Yep. Okay. Can you get these options in any other caliber? Or? No, just the okay. 22 and 380. Awesome. Very nice looking. Really good spread here. And you've also got some of the prints and trace, laser options. Very cool. Yep. All right. Let's jump on over to the other side. You guys got a ton of pistols getting through. Yeah, let's look at the buck marks. All right. Ben's worked with our suppliers for new colors. Um, the gray, the gray black is a really a neat combination. That it's is nice. done really well for us. Um, we, we got some, uh, we got a blue and a red pistol. These are really kind wow. of oriented towards competition. Yeah, fluted barrel looks nice. And it's an aluminum barrel with a steel sleeve. So it's really oh, lightweight. Wow. So if you you shoot in a competition, you got Ooh, fast transition between targets. That's really well balanced and lighter than you'd expect. Yep, and you got, at it. you got yeah. a Picatinny rail on top, so you can throw a red dot on there, wow. and you're ready to roll for that's competition. Impressive. That is really nice. And along the Dirty Harry lines, we do have yeah, our uh, Varmint that. SR. Nice furniture on there. Look yeah. So a 10-inch barrel is threaded for a suppressor. Okay. So um, those the people that are in areas where the, the varmints or where coyotes kind of pop up out of nowhere, they can have something they can get out of the truck real quick with. Right, absolutely. It's a really great option for that. What, cha now what are these chambered in? Is these are 22 long rifle. Okay, all 22 LR. Fantastic. All right, good. Look at all these different options. So what are the different models then? We've got the Buckmark Contour URX here. Yep. Medallion, Medallion Rosewood, Rosewood. Which was is a two-tone with the... The black on the curves and the polish on the on the flat on the barrel nice. with the, the beautiful rosewood yeah. grips. Um, we got some micros with the shorter barrels with and without. Uh, right. Muzzle brake, suppressor ready. Okay. Black label, suppressor ready, laser. With the laser on yeah. it. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Classic gold trigger. Yep. I love the browning touches in there and I like that you guys have kept that, you know? Yep, love Very to cool. love to have that Browning look. Yes, sir. Here, so let's okay. go to the Expo. So this is the new Max Long Range in the Expo line. So okay. we've been using the Max name since the 1990s, and it really kind of stands in, in for Max adjustability. So we have an adjustable comb, comes with spacers, so you can adjust the length of pull. Wow, nice. Now this one's set up for long range shooting. It's got a medium heavy barrel, fluted muzzle brake, suppressor ready, a vertical pistol grip, which yeah. is really nice for bench and prone yep. shooting. Uh, extended bolt handle, and really the cool part about this is we we worked with our factory to come out with this at a, at a very attractive price point, twelve sixty nine for for standard calibers okay. with a ton of features. Yeah, absolutely. So you get the famous X bolt accuracy right. in a configuration that's really oriented towards that long distance shooting. The bipod come with it as well? And no, it's a uh, it comes with the swivel studs. Okay. We have an accessory rail because a lot of the bipods are Picatinny attached anymore. Right. So we'll, you have a accessory rail available so you can use that. Very cool. Then we do a varmint target version. Okay. And you can see the barrel diameter is, is thickened up quite a bit. Right. And this comes with the rail in the varmint and target configurations. Really like the X-Bolts. Really a big fan of them. They're really spectacular. Yeah, when you start shooting them, they kind of get into your blood. I only yeah, own nine of them. So it's right. A, no, I hear you. Yeah, they are really nice. Really excited about them. Okay, so I saw these. Now these, these are some other options as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. These are more of uh, more the premium offerings. Okay. Really like the stocks on these. They look really nice. Yeah, both, right. Yeah. So we got we got a couple pro models. Okay. We got a tungsten colored one, and then we got a for new for this year is a stainless with a with a clear finish on the on the stocks. Now the the pro stocks is a true carbon fiber stock. 360 degree wrap. They're incredibly durable, tough. It is. It is probably the best premium stock in the entire building, in my opinion. Okay. So they. Uh, but the new look with the with the stainless is nice. Yeah, that's all carbon fiber. Yep. Wow. I think you just said 14.99. No, not 14.99. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing things that I want to hear. <laughs> what are we looking at as price point? Really nice fluted bolt. Handle. MSRP on the on the stainless is just under two thousand dollars. Okay, correct. 
Now the uh, we got a couple of McMillans there. So we got the A3-5, which is really more oriented towards target with right. the adjustable comb. Right. Again, target configuration with the heavy barrel. Nice. Then we got a new one that's, uh, this is the Hell's Canyon Long Range with the oh, yeah. McMillan Game Scout stock. Yep. And the, this is the Urban Carbon Ambush finish on it, which is really, a, it's a real dynamic look. You can see the carbon fiber underneath the top finish. Wow. How many different custom options do you have for the x -Pool? Uh Too you many know? to think of I know, off the top of my head. But that's what I love about what you're doing here. I mean, really, anybody can get something different. A lot of guys like that, something unique and different. So the x clearly, with browning, <laughs> whatever your flavor is, they've likely got it. It's yes. pretty exciting. We've done long, long range. We've got a Predator version that's all camoed out, like Cerakoted. Yeah. Man. We've got a couple new offerings for, for guys that are running suppressors. We've shortened up the barrel on one, so the overall length's not too bad. We've yeah. we got a, a suppressor version of our speed rifle, which has been popular for the last four years. Um, so it's really been moving forward with the export, export line. Really exciting. Just overly impressed with Browning and what they're doing here. Aaron, really appreciate your time. Shot Show. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying it. Happy Shot Show. stuff they've got for 2019, specifically the CZ-10, right? Yes, the CZ-P10 series. So here we have our CZ-P10 uh, F. It's an optics-ready model that's actually made here in the U.S. out of our Kansas City facility. We're really excited about that. So full size, 19 rounds. Um, MSRP is coming in about 590. Okay, yeah. good. And then um, we have our, our C here. So um, everyone's pretty familiar with our P10 C, but um, 15 rounds. Optic ready as well. So this, all of our P10s will ship with a blank adapter plate, and then we'll have um, Trichicon RMR and Leupold Delta Point Pro plates available here shortly. Awesome. And then we have more adapter plates coming down the down the pipeline there. Fantastic. So these are three different. You got full size, compact, compact. and subcompact. Yeah, and then our subcompact, our P10S. So this is a this model will hold 12 rounds and it's also you know, optics ready, so we're really excited. It maintains all of those great features of the P10, the ergonomics, the trigger, yeah. Really nicely balanced too. Yes. Really, gosh, everybody's doing some really nice out of the box options that are just ready to go. Right. I mean, there's not much more you need to do to it. Yep, and these models are gonna come in at 577. That's great, really yep. affordable fantastic looking platforms and they come with the optics already no so okay. they'll just come with the blake adapter plates okay gotcha. and then um, that way you know we keep, we're able to keep the price down and you can choose what plates are most beneficial to you versus you know having all these okay and these are loophole dp pro optics uh Lu yep loophole really delta nice. pro okay really fantastic all right, very cool. I'm really excited about these. I know a lot of you guys are as well. Thank you, Danae, for giving us a quick little rundown on these. And hope you're enjoying SHOT Show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Take Have a good one. You too. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here at Ruger with Mark. He's going to go over the PC-9 with us. What do we got here? Hey, this is the PC carbine. Thanks for yep. stopping in. So, of course. Uh, first off, it's a takedown gun. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we can take it apart into two small pieces for carrying. Absolutely. It's kind of a, a major overhaul or update of the old PC-9. Okay? Right. Uh, so it's a blowback action in 9mm. It can use both a supplied Ruger magazine, but we also supply an insert in here that allow you to swap it over to a Glock magazine. Very cool. Might All as right. well, right? There's, there's plenty yeah. of Glock mags out in the world, so this, this can take a Glock magazine, as you see here on these guns. Oh, very cool. And everybody yeah. wants that high-capacity Glock mag as sure. well. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, the controls in this gun are reversible. So you have a charging handle on the left, a uh, uh, mag release on the left, or you can switch them over to the right side either. So depending on how you want to manipulate the gun, right. many people like to drive them like a pistol. Yep. So they're holding, they never take the shooting hand off, right. but can do everything with the support hand. Absolutely. It works pretty well. Okay. So we have a rail for optics, right. but also iron sights. Yep. Iron sights are on the barrel. Very nice. Uh, so it's a ghostring sight, and it's, it really it comes up quick, and it is a quick sight picture. Nicely balanced, okay. yep. nice fluted barrel, threaded. Yep, barrel. So it's, threaded, it's fluted for weight reduction. It's threaded so you can add a suppressor to it. Uh, 147 subs run really well through this. Okay. Uh, now one thing you'll find is that on the 9 mil, the 115 grain, the lightweight bullets actually get an appreciable velocity increase through this. The heavier the bullet, less increase. In fact, a few 147s go actually a little bit slower. Okay. So the point is subs will remain sub in this pistol. Very okay. nice. 
Uh, we've got an adjustable length of pole, so this can be set up for different sized people or different right. amounts of outerwear, so body right. armor or just warm clothing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So when you look at it, it's really it's a 1022 that takes nine millimeter with yeah, exactly. all the good stuff around it. Hey, that's important. And PCCs are really popular now, They're right? Very, very popular. This has been an enormous popular gun for us. That's awesome. All right, Mark, so what are we looking at for calibers? Uh, so this is right now chambered in nine millimeter. Okay. All right, and how accurate is this takedown feature? So are we going to be able to oh, maintain it, zero? It works out really, right. really well. So one of the tests we do is we'll fire around, take the barrel off, put it back on. Now that's with a receiver-mounted optic fire again, and there it just drops into the same hole. That's awesome. Um, we, we made that as a requirement. Right. But you have to do a couple of things in order to make it work. There's an adjusting ring here. Okay. There's instructions how to adjust it. Once it's adjusted for life, it's good, but awesome. it needs to be snug. Okay. And then it happens after you put it together, you just have to cycle the bolt just a little bit, right. once or twice, and that'll seat, if I could get this to <laughs> work. <laughs> it's never going to work when you are on camera. Yep. Yeah, there we go. So you just cycle the bolt a couple times, right. it seats everything in, and it's ready to go. Awesome. And what is the price point we're looking at? So this will go across the counter for about 500 bucks. Man, that's really fantastic. Yeah. All right. It's a great bargain. Cool. And now, are you a big fan of the PC9? You know, I, I never was because I thought it was too heavy, and this okay. one's actually a little bit lighter. Right. Uh, so it's a good sturdy gun. It's well balanced. Yeah. Uh, so blowback guns really aren't all that feathery. Right. Um, so this is just the right package for nine millimeter. Excellent. Really good to see. Let's jump on over to what else you got around the sure, corner here. We'll do. Okay. All right, guys. So the Ruger Precision Rimfire here. Take it away, Mark. Okay. So Ruger Precision Rimfire was announced uh, some time ago in 22 Long Rifle. Now it's out in 22 Magnum and 17 M HMR. So we've taken a, a very accurate platform really nice. and extended its range in our brimfire gun. So it's not an expensive gun. This goes across the counter about 400 bucks. 400? Yep. It starts out as a Ruger American uh, brimfire action. Okay. And we put this chassis in it. Beautiful. Uh, a fully adjustable buttstock. So with one lever, we can. Uh, adjust length of pull, right. the comb height, and the comb position, so anyone can get behind this gun. That's awesome. Big gun, uh, big people, small people, anywhere in between. Okay. Uh, in this Magnum, we have a brand new magazine. Okay. So uh, typically, we, we've made 22 mag and 17 HMR in a nine-round mag that's flush, right. but this is a 15-round, and more so than the capacity, it's really easy to just to hang on to for mag change. You oh, get yeah. it in and out quickly. Okay. We have an aluminum end lock style rail here. Nice. A very nice adjustable marksman trigger. Okay. Okay. How light can that get? Yeah, that gets, gets down to two and a quarter pounds. Wow. Okay. And then one real neat feature is the bolt throw is adjustable. I can't do it on the fly here. You have to take the gun apart a little bit. But this is in the short rim fire stroke. Okay. But this little metal clip we can take out, remove it, and then the bolt will actually do a full length stroke. It's very similar to the length of a, a 308 or a 65 Creedmoor gun. Nice. So if you're training right. with this, uh, it works out pretty well. That's and one of the things that Rimfire can do for you, you know, it's obviously less expensive, it's, right. it's fun, but if you're doing medium range stuff in Rimfire, the wind will blow the bullet around <laughs> and teach you the humility of learning to, to call wind. So for it's a sure. great little training rifle. It's yeah, a lot absolutely. of fun for everybody and a good training rifle too. Threaded barrel as well. Threaded barrel, put yeah. a suppressor on it. Uh, when, when you and when you shoot a suppressed rimfire, of course, it's very quiet. Right. And if you're doing long range, there's a lot of hang time between when the gun goes off and when you hear it hit the target. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Really impressive. Now, the scope's not included. Right? No, it's not included, but it looks nice here. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. Absolutely. Really well done. Yeah. Dang. Okay, and you said, what was the price? Well, this, this will go across the counter about 400 bucks. 400 bucks. What are we looking at for accuracy? Something in it? Or uh, so we had somebody in the 17 caliber. I think it was an NRA guy. He did four different kinds of ammo and did the five groups, five round groups. So 25 rounds, four right. kinds of ammo, and his overall average was just under an inch and a quarter at 100 yards. Okay. That's pretty yeah. darn good for a yeah, rim fire. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Really nice. Very impressive. Very cool to see this. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. I'm excited to see what you guys have here. And yeah. Man, enjoying SHOT Show, are you? Oh, absolutely, it's a lot All of fun. All right, good, staying busy. All right, thanks again, Mark. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right, guys, we're back here, Car Firearms Group, specifically here with Sean. He's going to go over the Thompson series. What we got here, Sean? Uh, so we have some new, interesting models here for 2019. Uh, we brought out our Titanium Gold uh, T1 Tommy. This is amazing. Uh, chambered in 45 ACP. You know, it has the ripped barrel and the cuts compensator, all finished out with the drum magazine and the Titanium Gold. What carat gold? It's titanium gold. It's okay. it's, a, it's not 24 karat gold. Gotcha. It's just the uh, the, the so process in which we go through and in plating the the parts. Uh, 
a titanium durable. finish, so it comes out gold. Yeah, very durable. Very cool. What does one of these weigh? Oh, quite a bit. Quite uh, a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you can hold it? Yeah, this is impressive. Oh, man. This so we really can make nice. lightweight versions too, and uh, aluminum receivers. That's obviously the all steel. What does something like this retail for? Uh, MSRP on that particular model is uh, 3341. 3341? Yeah. And this is a 50 round drum? That is a 50 round drum on that one. 45 yeah. ACP? Yeah. That will also take the 100 round drum as well as the stick magazines. Wow. Yeah, it takes both. Man, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, I like it. What else we got up here? So we have some uh, unique options we had this year. So we had a custom uh, bootlegger Thompson that was introduced uh, just as a, as a, a a unique uh, classic model. gangsters, you know, yeah, right? So yeah. bootlegger, so it has a flask, removable flask. You gotta have that. The short butt stock, uh, some unique laser engraving, some custom woodworking. That's really cool. Um, all, so again, traditional on the uh, on an all steel frame Thompson with a 50 round drum magazine. Okay. Um, the Donald the, Trump tribute. Yeah, probably the most uh, uh, looked at and handled gun that has been here at Shot Show is the Donald Trump. 45th president model that we have here. All the uh, laser engraving is done by outlaw ordinance, and so we have a, the likeness of, the, of President Trump on one side with uh, Donald J. Trump, the 45th president, that wraps around the top of the slide. That is outstanding. Top of the slide end barrel has been machined down, smoothed out. Very and cool. on the opposite side is Make America Great Again. <laughs> uh, That's and what again, I'm talking some about. Other engravings. So the same price if somebody wanted to pick this up? Yeah, the uh, MSRP on this is a little less. This okay. is 2,098. All right. Um, and they're all the, 45 caliber. These are all 45 calibers that we have here. It okay. does. You can get it in nine millimeter. Oh, very good. Yeah. All so right. in 2018, we introduced the nine millimeter models. A little um, cheaper and, to shoot. Yeah, and so we also have uh, the aluminum receivers that we introduced last year as well. Okay. Um, Where this, would they pick these up on? They can go to their uh, dealer, their local dealer, yeah. and if they don't have it there, they can get it through their distributor. Very cool. Yeah, it seems very custom, and I bet this will be in high demand, so that's pretty unique. Um, and then going right down to the military version, this is an SBR awesome. of the uh, M1. Nice. The TM1. And so it takes a stick magazine. It has the charging handle on the side where you see the regular uh, traditional Tommies have the charging handle on the top of the slide. Gotcha. So this is on the side and uh, short barrel, just like the uh, GI issue uh, in the military. Very cool. What's the price point on that? Uh, price point on this is a little over 2000 Okay, very nice. And then moving down? This is called a Tactical Tommy. Oh, nice. Uh, and so it just it was put on with a, a different appearance and a different receiver. It puts the same as the, uh, the bolt is on actually both sides. Right. So you can see on both sides that we have a charging handle. What kind of mags does that take? Are those stick mag. This has got a 30 round uh, Thompson proprietary Thompson okay. gotcha. uh, stick mag. Sometimes we have people that come in with earlier, real early versions of Thompsons and their magazines don't fit just because of some updates that were made to it. I see. But you can see here, you know, we have a traditional now AR style pistol yep. grip, uh, telescopic mag butt stock, yeah. uh, Picatinny rail from front to rear, Very and cool. some furniture on the front, and a different compensator. So okay. it brings it up, kind of modernizes the yeah. firearm. Very nice. All right. What else we got down here? Really, I love the custom options that are available. Yeah, so uh, we call this our Chrome Tiger Stripe model. Okay. You know, anytime we're getting into some of these real custom and unique features, it does it adjust the prices. But this is a, you know, obviously it's a the traditional 45 ACP in an all steel frame. Has some weight to it, um, but it has a very unique finish to it. Like this one. That's uh, really nice. Tiger Stripe goes all the way around. Yep. Yeah, they, a lot of polishing on the drum and the parts. Ooh. So there's a lot more man hours in, that go into something where you have it polished. And MSRPs around four grand? Yeah, 4,000 wow. for these. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, significant right. difference. Yeah, absolutely. And then over here we got some really cool stuff too. Yeah, so we kind of, uh, again, working with Outlaw Ordnance, we have uh, a case hardened, uh, um, and this is done through uh, outsourced at the factory, but a case hardened uh, Tommy gun with a stick oh, mag. Nice. Uh, and then we have a new one uh, for 2019, is uh, the traditional military uh, appearance. Uh, the longer barrel, uh, so it's not an SBR, right. but it is the military version. This is called the Tanker. Yeah. And this is uh, about $1,700 okay. MSRP. Gotcha. 
Uh, and then moving on into the M1 carbines, we make M1 carbines, we make two different uh, models, we make the traditional M1 carbine as well as the paratrooper, Very cool. and both of these have been engraved with some unique engravings symbolizing and recognizing World War II. Um, so we have the bombing of Pearl Harbor, it's wow. dated, and on the opposite awesome. side is the Enola Gay, uh, remembering so Pearl Harbor. These, you guys kind of designed these in a way for a nice collector's piece almost too, right? Bit of a it, nostalgia piece. Just a little bit of something so yeah. that it should, takes it away from just being just a standard right. GI yeah. issue. So it is a, a little unique and gives some period specific uh, engraving. So if there's something specific that you know guys wanted to get, I guess they got to go through the distributor, kind of track it down a little bit, right? Like if they wanted this one in particular, you know, Right? Yeah, so, so they would they would be able to look for this particular right. model. It's going to be available. Okay. Um, we also do, we have a custom shop, so if there's something specific, somebody want it, they can order the standard M1, we would send it out, and they would have the artwork put on as well. Very cool. So something and specific. Donald Trump, Make America Great Again AR? Yeah, so this is new to this year, is uh, the furniture that's been added to this AR. Um, we utilize uh, a lot of uh, Hogue furniture on it. Um, nice uh, forend, some flip-up sights and a unique color pattern. So the gray really pops with the with the light gray underneath. Yeah, it looks so, nice. Um, you can see it's, uh, even the hand grip was engraved, laser engraved, and it has the bricks on it ton of to symbolize the wall. <laughs> um, and on the opposite side is uh, Make America Great Again um, and the likeness of the That's awesome. 45th president there. Really unique stuff. Wow, so, very cool. Sean, thank you very much for your time. This is. It's been amazing. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Thank yes, you guys sir. for stopping by. Absolutely. Happy Appreciate shot show. It. Thank you. All right, guys, we're back here with Brett with Magnum Research, also part of the Car Firearms Group. Brett, what do you got here for us? Some really cool pistols. We got the the Desert Eagle. So this is our 50 cal Desert Eagle, the SRMB. This is all stainless. It's got the rail on the bottom, ported barrel. Um, this is a 50. Nice. So, we, so we make this in three different calibers. Okay. Uh, currently now we just came out with our new 429. Okay. So you, you can, uh, the, the nice thing about a Desert Eagle is depending on caliber and configuration, yeah. pull the barrel, wow. new magazine, all bolt, right. you can switch between all three calibers in one platform. What's it like shooting something like that? I hate to admit it, I've never even shot one. They're not that bad. Yeah? With okay. a break, it's not that bad. Really it takes cool. a 50 down to about a 44. Okay. Very nice. Uh, this is our case color. This is a 50. Uh, doesn't have the rail. Okay. Really nice looking. Yeah, this is a beautiful gun. Yeah. We sell a lot of these. What's the price point on these? This is about two grand. All right. But uh, if you can afford to shoot it, you can probably afford to buy you it. You can afford to buy it, yeah. <laughs> about 250 around. Yeah. Damn, this is nice. Not too bad. I mean, it's actually fairly well balanced. Yeah, they you know, are. It's not like it's something that's super bulky and heavy. Very nice. No, titanium gold tiger stripe, 50. Yeah. This is probably one of our biggest sellers. That so. cool. Uh, we also sell it in just the plain gold, okay. the, tiger, the PVD finish. So you can get it with the tiger stripes or without the tiger stripes. What about the mag? Is that gold too? The base plate's gold. Okay, gotcha. All right, very cool. So twenty-three hundred bucks for that one. Yep. More or less the same price. They're all right yeah, they're all pretty close in the price point. Twenty-two, two thousand. Wow. Um, white tiger. So this is a stainless steel one, just like the the black tiger. Except this one's got the rail. Gotcha. We're only offering this in stainless steel right now. Okay. Very nice to see all the customization right off the shelf. You yeah, know, that's something that's cool. We also have our custom BF, our, our Desert Eagle website. Okay. Go to that custom desertEagle.com. You can build any configuration that's you want. That's cool. Everybody so, wants to know that. Right. And what are the caliber options again? 50? 50, 50, 357, 44 meg, and now our four uh, our 429 Desert Eagle. So okay. we, this is a, a 50 cal okay. neck down to 44 mag. All right. Um, your 50 mags will still fit, so you can just swap the barrel and have uh, the new DE 429. Very cool. Wow, this is a really unique looking one here too. Yeah, that's our WMD finish. Nice. So uh, this is with a white mat distressed. This is a great gun. Yeah, I mean, it it's a beautiful awesome. finish. Yeah, looks like a Punisher style. Yep. Okay. This has got a arachna grip on it, so you get a little bit more purchase on that. Okay, very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I really like the detail. You guys really thought these out really well. Yeah, we, we have a uh, dead eye does our Cerakoting for us. They do a great job. Excellent. Yeah, that's nice. All right, very cool. Wow, how many different options are there? Do you know off the top of your head? I do not. <laughs> it, it, 
And with the, and this is just the start of them. Like, yeah. If you don't want the big guys, we can go all the way down to our L5. This okay. is our new. Um, it's an inch shorter. It's 50 ounces, under 50 ounces. Okay. Aluminum frame. Uh, this is actually New York legal. Nice. So they have a weight restriction, so okay. you can feel the difference in oh, the guns. Oh yeah, way different. Very nice. Did you say this is 50? What was the caliber? This is a 50 cal. Okay. Yep. But same additional same, options? Yep, except we don't offer it in the 429 yet. Okay. So it's 357, 44 mag, and 50. Wow. Look at all this detailed laser engraving. Yep. That's uh, That actually it is brought today, the Steampunk. We don't have pricing on that. Okay. Um, that's a pretty unique gun. Yeah, that's really impressive. Wow. All right, and then further down the line, what else we got? This is already here. We got some baby eagles. Oh, baby eagles. Baby oh, eagle threes. Poly, poly frame guns. This is a forty. Uh, we sell them nine and forty. Okay. Mid, mid size. What's the price point? They're about six hundred bucks. Okay. Six hundred fifty bucks. There we go. Now we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> then our our nineteen uh, elevens. We sell them in a G and C and the U model. Okay. And we also sell them in stainless and just black. Nice. Oh, these are nice look. Wow, I like these grips too. So what's the yep. price point on these? They come in the G10s. They're about 900 bucks. Wow, that's great. MSRP. Yeah, for 1911, I mean. Yeah, the feel that nice trigger. nice trigger on yeah. it. Yep. Nice grips. I mean, pretty custom looking. And it doesn't rattle, no. which is nice. So I've got a Kimber Custom Covert too, which I paid way too much for, you know, but I like I like the fact yep. that it doesn't rattle, you know, a lot of the very yep. bone stock Springfield ones that you might get, you know, you hear a little bit of right. clinking in there. And our G and C are bushingless. Okay. So. Oh, wow, nice. Say yep. that again? They're bushingless, so they got a full, uh, full barrel on them. Look at that. That's cool. Full bull. Yep. Nice trigger. Yep. And these are 900 bucks? Yep. Wow. That's cool. I like that. I've never actually picked one up. and I mean, that's really impressive. And that's very competitive price-wise. What is this uh, little guy? 380. This is a real baby eagle here. Yeah, this is, this just came in. So okay. this, there it is. I, I don't even know if we're selling them or have made any so far. So okay. let's just kind of get to feel and see what people think of it. Uh, nice little concealed carry. Yep. Yeah. All decked out though. It's all decked out in gold as yeah. it should be if it's part of the Desert Eagle line. Right. What's the price point? Looks like it's about a thousand bucks. Okay. Very cool. With all the gold. And it's polymer down here? Yep. Yeah, gotcha. So the gold definitely takes it up a little bit in price, but depends on what you're looking for. A little bling action. Right. Something cool. Very nice. Very cool. Brett, really appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Hope SHOT Show's going well for you. Yeah, it's busy. Yes, sir. Good deal. Good things. All right, guys. Thanks again, Brett. No problem. Cheers. All right, guys. So we're back here with Caltech. Got Hammer here next to me with a beautiful beard. Hi, you still can't touch it. All right, let's go through this, Hammer. What do we got here for 2019 from Caltech? So new at SHOT Show this year is our CP33 pistol. It's a 22 long rifle. It's a 33 round capacity. We also make a 17 round mag extension so you can get it up to 50 rounds. There we go. Uh, it's a five and a half inch heavy profile threaded barrel. Nice. Take any of your suppressors, shoots great suppressed. Uh, fits any of the comps that you might want to do on the market. Has the full length Picatinny rail on top with fiber optic sights that are adjustable for windage. And um, awesome. we also have your op handle back here. That's so cool. it's a lot similar more to the CMR30 than it is the PMR30 as where it has um, not a cycling slide, just the cycling bolt and the buffer system in here. So it's great for competition shooting, planking, kids, new shooters, anything oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, and it's really well balanced too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, oh yeah. That's nice. Now this lower, this is off of the PMR30? The, actually, it's pretty much the exact lower as the CMR30, okay. as you can see right here. Right. Now the parts would be interchangeable though between the CMR and the PMR or what? This, they all actually have the same exact trigger, so it's a nice clean break that you're used to, nice right. short pull, everything else good for target shooting. That's awesome. Now let's talk about this patented magazine that's down here. Yep, this is our um, quad stack magazine. Do we have those over here, the loaded ones? It's pretty cool. We have this rod that's in the middle, and you'll uh, have two round or two sides of double stack 22 long rifle ammunition that go in there. That's 33 round capacity. Yep, that's awesome. Patented. Very good. Always innovating. Always something new. Really, really cool looking platform there. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Let's jump on over to the new shotgun you guys have. I know I got to pick this up during the tour, but I had the. Uh, I got told, no, no, no. Ne I never saw this is what I was told. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we never saw it, but I did hold it. So what we got here? KS7. So, yep, this is our new KS7, um, much like our original KSG platform. It's our 12 gauge bullpup shotgun, but slimmed down to a single tube magazine. Um, so with that, as with the regular one, you got the 14 plus one rounds. This you have the seven plus one. Has all the same controls and ergonomic functions of our original KSG. That's awesome. Except we added the uh, carry top up or the carry handle on top with your high vis Chevron style front sight. Has M lock slots on the uh, carry handle and the actual uh, and the shotgun action. Um, with dropping it down to the single mag tube, we were able to shade about two pounds off of it and I think 21 parts so okay that's one of the cool things easy a lot easier on manufacturing and um, assembly time so we're able to cut the price point down to 495 on it oh that's awesome mm -hmm. and what is the round capacity uh, seven plus one okay and two and three quarters six plus one and three inch and we actually have a plus three uh, mag extension so you can get it up to a ten plus one awesome now this lower here so our trigger would work in there as well yes right? your trigger will work in that's here that's fantastic all right so the ksg and this new platform the ks7 really impressive yeah right, cool. right when i get back i'm having your trigger taken out of my ksg and putting it into my seven so dude that's what i like to hear that's awesome and there's something else coming out in 2019 right somewhat of a sub 2000 hybrid oh actually yes that's very new and exciting to come with our good buddy here at m carbo we're working on our m series sub 2000 that's Let me grab a sub 2000. There we go. So many of you are familiar with our sub 2000. It's our uh, nine or forty nine millimeter or forty caliber carbine. Um, although it's already good on its own, you can't beat it with all the M carbo accessories that are going to come on it. So as I was saying yesterday with them, from snout to tail, Hell yeah. it's going to be loaded <laughs> up with M carbo accessories from your comp all the way. You have your trigger, your trigger bars, your spring kit, your recoil reduction device your op handle, your tube sleeve, I mean, it's gonna be loaded. I'm excited about it, and I think I'm hooking you guys up with some, right? Oh yeah. So we got a thousand that we're gonna get, and then the shooting team's gonna get a few. Yep. All right, man, yeah, I'm and really excited about that. Like I said, it's a fantastic gun for uh, new shooters, old shooters, just getting into it. It's a nice, easy, affordable platform to get into. Being blowback operated runs like 100% reliability. Like I said, we shoot it at a lot of major matches, and yep. a lot of the ROs are saying, it's the only gun that never goes down. That's awesome. So. Really incredible. Man, it's always a pleasure to meet you here at the booth. Really excited to see what you guys are doing new for 2019. Mm -hmm. Love the beard. It's always Thank getting you. better and better. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's good to see you guys yeah, again. Yeah, man. Thanks again. Thank Happy you very much. Shot Show. Mm -hmm.